Duke Energy says they've seen a dramatic increase this year in people driving into power poles. Just recently, three poles were hit by cars in just one week. Tonight, CBS 17's Crystal Price is digging deeper to find out why it's happening and what's being done to address it. Power poles slightly nudged. It was a loud boom. To cars taking out entire poles. And then our power just went out. To more serious crashes, where thousands of people are left without power for a day or two. It impacted the whole community here. My, I mean, everybody in my community is without power. Duke Energy says the number of power poles hit by cars in Durham County has been on the rise. This year alone, there have been at least 60 poles hit by cars. Three of those happened in just one week. The trend is definitely increasing, and it's a disturbing trend. To give you an idea of the impact, so far more than 20,000 people have lost power in Durham County due to a car hitting a pole. That's already half as many people who lost power in Durham last year. And 2021 has already exceeded the number of people who lost power in 2019. So why are so many people hitting power poles? While speeding and alcohol are two of the leading causes, experts tell me there's another factor playing into this. What we're also seeing is that there's a friction right now between society reopening. Philip Vereen, transportation director for North Carolina Central University, says the ending of the pandemic could also be a factor. Over the last year, we've had less people on the roads, less traffic. People are having to be reacclimated to life with more people out on the roads. Vereen says as some roadways are expanded, it's leaving some poles closer to the road than before. In some cases, we can uh, adjust the location of a pole or, or add some strength to that pole. But overall, experts say the behavior of the driver has to change too. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.